Shalom. I'm going to give our praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Kakodash. Double honors to our pastors and brothers, pray for us now. Peace and blessings and salutations to all the sincere Akin. Just teaching this word in our truth. All right. This is Ephesians 5 and 14. Well, for he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach should give thee light. All right? So, this is geared towards the Israelites, all right, whom consist of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Whom are um, the Lord's people, all right? He says, Awake thou that sleepest. Uh, and arise from the dead, all right? So, right, in the spiritual sense, man, our people, the majority of our people are, are spiritually dead, man, all right? Not having an idea of who they are as a people, all right? Following these different idols, these different doctrines, all right? You know, not understanding who their power and, and uh, his son is, whom is Yahweh, the power, and the son is Yahweh Shah, deliver, all right? So, uh, awake to this knowledge, man, okay? Come out of that dead state, all right? Uh, right, as it says in the uh, Revelation 11 chapter, all right? And their bodies, their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, all right? This is 15, verse 15, it says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, all right? So, Right, we ought to uh, be circumspect, all right? Meaning to uh, be observant of your surroundings, all right? Keeping up with the news, the times, the prophecies that are written in these scriptures, man, all right? As an indication of the, of the times, you see? We're in a time where uh, the Lord is uh, getting ready to, uh, to come, all right? And before he comes, there's gonna be a, a, a time which is known as Jacob's trouble, all right? A very serious, a harsh, time all right you see uh, as the lord said these are just the beginning of sorrows all right so it says see then that you walk so respectfully not as fools but as wise all right redeeming the time because the days are evil all right and evil all right even in the time and ill is bad all right so we definitely are in bad times all right and that's why it's very uh, important to uh, move in a, in a wise manner, man, all right? Because especially if you into the knowledge of this truth, all right? Because this world is against this uh, truth, man, all right? This devil Esau, Edom, all right, who's in, in rulership in this current age, all right? He, his uh, main focus is to, is to come against uh, the children of Israel, man, all right? And really starting with the, uh, those of us who who are walking to this knowledge, man, all right? This devil doesn't want this word to go out, you know? That's why he, uh, you know, flags videos, uh, you know, sets up agents, uh, you see? Uh, you know, put us in a bad light in the eyes of the world, all right? Label us as being anti, uh, anti new world order, so to speak, all right? Because we're against his, his his wicked agenda, all right? We're against Babylon, all right? Being a miracle, all right? Babylon the great, all right? We, we're against this uh, this wicked uh, kingdom, all right? So this devil, is, you know, he's the opposition, man, all right? Going into Jacob and Esau, right? So that's what this whole thing um, boils down to, man, all right? It's, it's Jacob and Esau, man, all right? But as the scripture says in uh, Second Ezra, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. They follow it, all right. You see, we see what what this devil being in power brings: death and destruction, disorder, chaos, all right, corruption, all right. You see, but Jacob, Yasha Allah, Israel, all right, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to be a righteous kingdom where everything is going to be established in its proper order, man, all right. And these heathens, all these other nations. And especially this devil Esau, Edom, all right, is going to be under subjection unto us, man, all right? And we would no longer have to suffer under the oppressor, man, all right? The hammer of the earth, you see? Um, 
who is a base man. All right, this you know, this this guy is a base man, bro. You know what I'm saying? The, it was of the will of the Most High to put him in this position. All right, you see, in the eyes of the world, he you know he's this 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 magnificent guy, so to speak. You know, all powerful, uh, dreadful dude, right? But in reality, he's a base man, man. The, the scum of the earth. All right. Even the, even these other nations is, is sick of this guy, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? So when he goes into captivity, as the scripture, I believe, is in Isaiah, you know, it's gonna, we're gonna look upon him and, and be like, is this the man that make it the earth trumpet? All right. Because he's a low level base man, man. All right. But it was of the Most High's will to show his power to put him in the position that he's in, man, you know, and also for us going off, all right, the nation of Israel, all right, so um, I'm going to finish this out and wrap it up, Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, all right, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, all right, so what is the will of the Lord, man, all right, First and foremost, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to, to repent and turn back unto him, all right, through our Lord Yahweh Shah, all right, and, uh, die for us for a chance of uh, repentance, man, all right? He's that, that mediator between us and the Heavenly Father, all right? So this time of grace is an is, is a opportunity for us to get ourselves right, all right? Change our ways, all right? Uh, stop following in the ways of this world. All right, stop following after the ways of this uh, devil. Okay, you see that? Because ultimately, the will of the Lord is to destroy this place, man, and bring forth judgment upon this place, man. All right, bring this man down. Okay, and set everything back in its proper order. All right, you see, this is not our risk, as the scripture says, man. All right, it wasn't meant for us to be successful and to, uh, to succeed in this, you know, current age, man. All right. With this devil still in uh, rulership, man. All right. So uh, this is verse 18. It says, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. All right. <laughs> not these guys and these other groups that's doing these rap videos uh, talking about killing Edomites. You see, talking about going to camp with a stick all right, or with a strap being carnal as hell, all right, with spiritual songs, man, these, these scriptures, man, all right, these psalms and hymns, man, all right, uh, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, all right, so that was the point, uh, I just wanted to do a quick lesson on my way to the, uh, to the plantation, man, um, but Lord willing, this was a verification, and, uh, with that to the next one, shalom.